It means kills, deaths, and assists, man. Oh, Abaddon, the lord of death and looking like you're not really trying. With two direct support slash heal abilities and an ultimate that pretty much gives you a get out of jail free card, unless there's a Laguna Blade on the other team, Abaddon is here to stay, here being in any team fight. This tanky horse rider's main strength is sustainability, both of himself and onto others. With really low cooldowns, Abaddon wants to spam those spells as much as possible. Sadly, he's a strength hero, which comes with a not so great mana pool. You want to get at least one early mana item that also supports the team, such as an urn or drums, or you can go full support mode with arcane boots. Hint, you should go full support mode and get arcane boots. This Rider of Doom is best left to the 3rd or 4th position roles as a full-blooded support or a tanky offlaner that might get some items. If not going for arcanes, the obvious choice is phase boots. Your role is to get into that teamfight as fast as possible, throw out those spells, and save some lives, like this superhero that you... He's a death knight, right? So, like, how... The, the theme of what... It has nothing to do with what the hero actually does. That just doesn't make any... Uh, damn. Jeez. Anyways, any support item works on this guy, but you might want to think twice before going for a mechanism. I know it seems obvious, but remember your low mana pool. Mech costs a lot to cast, and you need that mana badly. Leave mech for someone else. As a support, you gotta think what will be the best item for your specific situation. A Vlad's might work perfectly, or if you're up against some heavy nukage, you might want to run a pipe or a blade mail. In any case, if you ever run into some serious cash, Shiva's or a Sheepstick are the obvious choices. About skills, it's obvious that you want to get your shield and coil as soon as possible. You might even consider skipping your ult at 6, as it always activates when you go below 400 HP, and you have about 800 at level 6. Getting those essential skills first and the ulti only later at 9 or 10 makes a lot of sense. Now about Frostmourne Hung Curse of Avernus. It seems amazing on paper, so amazing that it almost rivals Bounty Hunter's track, but it's a steroid skill on a support hero and doesn't really fit with what you're meant to do. You should never ignore it completely though, as the movement speed bonus is pretty sweet and the same on all levels. But you might just go for one point at level 9 and then ignore it till 22. So where does Abba fit in? He works really well with anyone who needs babysitting. He's an interesting pickup for tri-lanes if you already have a strong dual base, but he doesn't really have any offensive capabilities. Yes, you can aggressive try with him and dive really, really early, but it's very, very risky. Leave those dives to once you have some abilities and properly get your ultimate to tank up that tower. He's a decent offlaner if you go for a soul ring and just play him similarly to a dark seer, but he's just not as effective. With Abaddon by your side, you want to be as aggressive as possible, so he obviously works with anyone who can be aggressive as possible. Think about Queen of Pain, think about Centaur, think about Tuscar rolling in and blowing people up, and he can just save you forever. You want to go with someone that doesn't have magic immunity, because if you get under magic immunity, Abaddon can cast his spells on you. But aside from that, anyone with aggression whatsoever, and the Trilin is really his best friend. If all that doesn't sound good to you, well, you can always go for the risky stupid carry build, Mask of Madness in straight into a basher and the Abyssal Blade later on, hope your two lives are enough, and go at it straight on, with no fear, activate your ultimate, get your HP back, die anyways, hooray for pub builds. Personally, Abaddon is one of my favorite heroes in the game. I cannot describe the amount of times I played incredible matches with insane clutch moves of saving an ally in the last second, making you feel just amazing. I cannot wait to see what professional teams do with this nonchalant, pony riding, death knight type thingy. Yes. Anyways, that's it for me, subscribe and stuff. KDA should come out every week focusing on a different hero. Leave me a comment at the bottom on what hero you'd like to see next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.